Ladies and gentlemen, it's 30th of April 2015. Welcome. This is going to be a quick video blog. Uh, now, as you went through your day, I want you to think about your day for a second. Take a moment. Whenever you're watching this, think about your day. And if it's morning, you think about the day before or maybe the day ahead. And I want you to ask yourself this question. Did you at any moment today challenge yourself in a way that would break you out of your ordinary little box world of this is how life should be, did you push a little bit beyond that? I don't mean a lot, okay? I, I don't think that you should so expand yourself that you're, you become unnatural and you get thrown off. I don't like people off balance, right? As a fighter, you don't want to be off balance. You want to keep your balance. Something Batata was telling me today, actually. And um, it's important for you to think about, did your day consist of any activity, action, uh, anything you did that s took your world and slightly expanded it. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's think about this for a second. This doesn't mean you have to go skydiving. That's the problem. People think it has to be huge. This is as as simple as, let's say you're a gentleman, you're a guy, you want to go and um, you want to expand your, um, uh, your, your world a little bit and you decide that you're going to say hi to five beautiful women today and whether they accept it or not, hey, big fucking deal, that's a stretch for you because normally you don't say hi to beautiful women. Or you say hi to one. And you just go, I'm just I'm just doing it just to say hi. Nothing else, right? I'm not necessarily doing it for you. I don't care whether you say hi back or not. It's the fact that for me to do this, I have to expand myself slightly. Okay? Ladies, what about you? Check your diet. You could use it as a challenge. I told him, stay out of there, dude. You could, you could use your diet as a challenge, you know. Sometimes, you know, you should eat better and you become a little bit complacent with yourself. And if you think about taking your diet and changing it a little bit just to stretch yourself, just to expand your livingness, this is the idea that I want to get across to you today. It's very important that as you go through your day, you do challenge yourself in certain things, okay? Now, there's a school of thought that says you have to really challenge yourself. I'm not from that school of thought. I am from the school of thought is that you should be natural. However, you should expand your boundaries, okay? Little by little, you should expand your boundaries. You should be tested throughout your day at some point. This could be as simple as you don't feel like getting up to go uh, make some coffee for yourself or you don't feel like getting up to clean the, uh, the backyard, electric clean the yard today and you push yourself to do it. All of these little activities that you do that maybe you don't feel like it in quotes, but you know are gonna be better for you, that's the key datum. That you know by you doing it, you're gonna be better. You're gonna, you, what does that mean you're gonna be better? You're gonna be more you. It doesn't mean that other people tell you you're gonna be better. I could give a shit what other people think. You've, uh, you, you know that by now, right? I care that I have an image in my mind of who I want to be and what kind of life I want to live. And the action that I take today, is it going to push me forward towards that or is it not going to push me forward towards that? If it is, and it's a slight stretch, I want to do it. Not only that, as a human being, I like to challenge myself. This is a big deal. It's a big part of me getting back into jiu-jitsu. I've been on gone for about a year and a half and now I'm back in the mix of it and it is no light matter. Anybody that knows my instructor knows it's no joke. So it's important to... Push yourself. Why? Because it makes you feel more alive. And when the day is over, if you have exerted, and this has to do with the physical body. This is with the physical body, with your energy, a little bit of more workout, better diet, maybe challenging yourself to do uh, an, um, two more push-ups or another action. I don't fucking know, right? And then with the mind, what would, what would a stretch of the mind be? Like I said, the mind is connected to your communication. So if you maybe had a hard time writing a letter to somebody. People don't write letters anymore. Maybe making a phone call, right? I'm always on my girls telling them, you should try to contact your family if they're good. If they're not, fuck them. I don't care, okay? The title family is not good enough. But if your family is good and you haven't contacted them for a while, you should contact them. And it's kind of a stretch. Maybe sometimes you want to reach out to somebody and just tell them, hey, you know, I just want you to know I feel like this and I have never told you this before. And I don't want to die without you knowing this. That's a stretch. Sometimes saying sorry is a stretch. I know I, I make an exercise out of that. I did it some weeks back. I think I told my sister sorry. And then I think I told my mother sorry. Hey, big fucking deal. Now, before I did it, I didn't really feel like doing it. You just want to kind of 
let it go. But I couldn't let it go, right? Maybe I know that Hannah and Electra were training the dogs today. Maybe that's your challenge today, right? I want you to start thinking, are you going to create challenges for yourself or not? If you don't create challenges, your life will start to become mundane and ordinary because it could be a great life. It's just that for you, it becomes ordinary, right? You're used to it after a while. So you want to continue the growth of life because life is growth, right? We know, pe we know people, animals, plants, all insects. We know they're alive because they're growing. And we know they're dead because they stop growing, right? Growth is part of life. When we see growth, we know there's life there. When we see decay, we know there's no life there. It's death. When there's no growth, there's death. So I want you to start taking a look at your life and using this principle that I use in my life, which is you just take a look around and go, how can I challenge myself? I mean, I'll give you a little bit more personal information. Sometimes I let the water turn cold in the shower. In our shower, when someone turns on the water in the other fucking house, in the other bathroom, my water turns completely cold. And I can hear it before it happens. It goes, I'm like, oh, here comes the cold water. And normally, before the fucker changes, my fucking lightning reflection, uh, reflexes, boom, 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 I turn it hot and I'm good. Or I step out of the way. But sometimes I'm like, you know what? I want to challenge myself. So I let the cold water hit me. I'm like, Ugh. Sometimes I let the towel way on the other side. Why? So that I can air dry for a little bit. I mean, it sounds maybe goofy to you. But that's the thing. It's not goofy to me. Why? Because I have to overcome my own laziness, if that's a word. I have to overcome my own um, lack of inertia. You know, the physical body stays in, a mo in, in rest. Anything physical stays at rest until acted upon by an outside force and vice versa. Stays in motion until acted upon by an outside force. So in the morning, uh, you, you can have your rituals that start challenging you. Now, I can tell you this. If you were not challenged today, you didn't feel as alive as you can, okay? Being challenged makes us feel alive. It also tires us out, like I'm drained as fuck, my body's sore, my everything is sore. Uh, but the tiredness is different. It's a fulfilling tiredness. So ask yourself this. Are you creating challenges for yourself? And once again, let me be clear. These are safe challenges. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to fucking two-year-olds. But I got to say it. Safe challenges. These are things that um, obviously speak to adults only, okay? If your children turn this shit off, okay? And if you're insane, turn this shit off. Only sane adult individuals. Can't believe I have to say that shit, but I still do. So sane activities, things that can challenge you a little bit, right? And you should be creating challenges for yourself because then what happens when outside world challenges you, they don't understand the challenge you put on yourself. This is something I have to deal with. As a jiu-jitsu fighter, this is something I think about all the fucking time. I always want to put myself in a situation that no matter what my opponent gives me, I've challenged myself harder or pushed through further than anything they can give me. So this gives me a calm under pressure in defense. I'm, I'm good. Why? Because, bro, you don't know the pressure that I can take. All right? This is important in life also. You want to be ruthless with, the, with your own life. You want to be disciplined. You want to be focused. You want to make sure that you're moving a little bit faster. You're putting a little bit more energy behind your activity. You're getting shit done. That's one of the biggest problems in life is people leave too many things open. You want to get shit done, right? So just ask yourself before this video blog is over or right after it's over. Are there certain things you're just kind of leaving around? Just get them done, man. It's going to take energy and push through to get it done. There's nothing more attractive. What is that noise, Totem? Can we go check that out or what? There's nothing more attractive than somebody who knows how to get shit done, whether that's a man or a woman. The opposite is also true. It's very unattractive when people can't get anything done, right? There's some people that they say they're going to do something. I'm just like, no, you're not. It looks like there's a lag in this thing, okay? So take this to heart today. Give it a try. See how it is. Challenge yourself. Give yourself a challenge and see how it goes, all right? This is IMC Nation. Remember this Saturday, I'm going to have my Saturday Night Live lecture. It's going to be 8 p.m. California time, all right? I'm Arash motherfucking D. Bazaar. IMC Nation, be the best. Fuck the rest. Share this shit so the world can see it. Peace.